Right, I'm up here in the heart of the fort. They've taken lots and lots of trees down now. They're carving it up big time now, folks. They got permission from somewhere to do this. And my, my tree, my greybeard's gone. Yeah, it's gone. I chopped it all down. Well, folks, sadly, it's, it's happening. They're actually chopping down all the trees up here now. Yeah, the machines are here, the axemen are here. Under the guise of legality. The crows have been following me for ages. So there they are, look, they know it's happening, don't you? They ain't pulling all the trees down. This is their last day today. They're over there, the workmen. They know. This is finished. This is finished. Let's find a log then. Come on. Hear that folks, that's the destruction of this woodland. The crows are looking, the rooks, ravens. They know, they're saying, where's our trees going? And they've cut, <coughs> they've cut Greybeard down. They've cut Greybeard. He's gone. This is their last day today, so they haven't finished yet. They'll be back next week. They'll cut more down. They've got to do it before the nesting season, you see. I feel quite sad, really. Wish I hadn't come up this end. Where shall I put this rest last bit then? On this log? So I'm feeding the crows. Yeah, I feel really quite disturbed, actually, now they're actually doing it. Cutting all that beautiful wood down. Cut, they've cut down Big Greybeard, taking him down. And he was healthy. He, didn't, he wasn't even got any decay or nothing. It's a sad time really coming here. I nearly weren't going to come this bit. Something's kept me away all week from coming up here. I've got to try and get down. There's a path here I think. Yeah, there's a path here. I can get down and walk around the base. <sighs> yeah, they're all laughing, those clearers now. 
They're all laughing, aren't they? They got what they wanted. To chop all these lovely trees down. Terrible. Terrible. Moving up. Right, folks, there's uh, the sea and Breen down. Further over, you've got the beach, the pier. Sea monster no longer there, of course. It's been gone a week now. And soon, all these trees will be gone. I think they're taking them all down. They take my greybeard down. Do you know, that tree was so significant to me in the early days of my walks up here. I used to talk to that tree. And um, it is not a good thing what they're doing. No good will come of it. No good will come of it, I tell you. I'm just going to walk down here. You can hear the chainsaws cutting up the trees. Healthy trees. They've got no mould or nothing on them. Yeah, this will be barren soon, just like they want it to be. A pile of stones exposed to the weathering. And like I said, secret agendas. There'll be houses up here next. <clears throat> My crows will follow me for a little while, but they know I've got no more food now. I'll say goodbye to them. I don't know where they're going to nest. They're probably wondering that as well. Where are we going to go, Sheila, they're saying. Well, they'll have to stop soon because it is the nesting season coming. Well, I've done the walk round. I nearly didn't do this bit. But when I saw the fencing up, I couldn't resist it. I wasn't going to do this bit. They've been axing and chopping and cutting big time. This is the fifth day. And the clearers come and do all the rest of it. Cutting down the shrubs, raking the ground, destroying the archaeology if you ask me. I call it destructive archaeology if that's what they call it. All these stones are exposed to uh, weathering now. Hear it? The machines grinding and churning and cutting. Oh, it's awful. That's the machine. They've got a special machine that shreds everything. It's a massive shredder. And there's my lovely crows. Look at them. Look at that beautiful rook or crow, or whatever it is. If he wants to know what's going to happen to his home. Look at him, isn't he gorgeous? My lovely crows are following me. I've get, they've had two, bis two oat biscuits, a chocolate bar, and they still want more. And they're, they're following me, and they're saying we don't know when, where we're going to build our nest this year, Sheila. And I've got the, I've got the uh, camera on. You can hear them destroying the trees. They're killing them. They've chopped down Greybeard. The crows are following me as if I can rescue them. The thing is, I can't. I can't do nothing. And I don't want, well, I nearly didn't come up here. I didn't really want to see the crows because I feel sorry for them. They've still got a lot of wood. They won't be able to do it all at once this year. Don't worry. Okay? I'll see you later. I'll see you next year. See you another time. A week or so. I got no more foodies. I know you're making that lovely noise. Yeah. I know, a beautiful noise you're making. You're talking to me.
No wonder it's quiet up here. They'll be blocking our way so we can't get out, I swear. God, it smells a pot down here. Is that the wall I can see there? Yeah. That's the wall shell. I gotta go now, Crowies. Okay. I gotta go now. See that they're following me? They've been following me for ages. They found me. They came and found me. I'll see you again. Come on, you go home now. It's been a lovely walk, by the way. I've had trouble with the lead connection up to the camera. Um, it's a very loose connection. They will leave me in a minute. They don't normally follow me much further than this, to tell the truth. They don't. I've done a lot more than I thought I was going to do. Um, they won't follow me much more now. They know I'm going home. I find that quite upsetting. It's my birthday, right? Today I'm 71. And the three crows have been following me, or rooks or ravens, whatever they are. And one have been talking to me. He's he's been speaking in a, in a beautiful echo voice. As if to say, Sheila, they're destroying our home. Even though they have got a lot of wood left, it's true. But that they want to cut all this down, you know. I don't think they'll follow me anymore now. They've got like a limit. They know when I came on the steps, they, they knew I was about. It's amazing. But they know I go. They didn't have any chips, any crisps today. No one can stop these workmen, see? You can't stop it. You can't stop it when people have got power and control. You can't stop them destroying stuff. We have tried. We did put forward a case. We should leave the wood alone. Now what they're doing now, where they're chopping and really, really just cutting the trees down big time now. They want to do it to the whole bloody wood. You know? Like I said, I nearly didn't come up this end because I had this feeling that this was happening. Oh, I'm going to turn off and take a picture of